Hey guys, welcome to Overlimit Gaming. This is Cole. And I'm Gage, and today we're playing some Forza Motorsport 5. Yet again, we're continuing from when we started off. A little yes. bit more drunk than before. This is part two. Anyway, I fucking bought Herbie! Yes, so we have, uh, we're, we stepped it down a notch. We took the horsepower down a bit. We're in some, uh, I think it's like, what, D-class cars? Fuck. Yeah, it's a D. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Cole loves the D. So, Cole's gonna drive some D-class cars today. But you know what? I'm Herbie, man. But so it's fuck Herbie. Off. So it's okay. Where's the tunnel so I can drive, like, over top of, the, like, upside down? I don't know. Um, one year in a Volkswagen, so that's probably not possible. But have you ever seen Herbie? Because I have. I know what he can and can't do. Yeah, did you see that shit movie with Lindsay Lohan? Is that no. what you're trying to emulate? No, Don Knotts is my hero, not Lindsay Lohan. I'm pretty sure it's Lindsay Lohan. Only I only have three posters of her in my room. I have four of Don Knotts. I guess that counts as a win for Don Knotts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not entirely sure though. <laughs> Don Knotts is my hero. All right, dude, look at the hippie that was painted. Get off my dick! It was painted the hippiest. The hippiest of the hipsters. I bet you all of the Mini Coopers have like the Union Jack. That guy hit me, you dick. Are these like real skins from other people? Yeah, these that's, are real people. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I kind of like that. The drive-a-tards. Drive-a-tards? Yeah, the drive-a-tards. It's like, they take what your driving abilities are and put them in a retard, and they put the, the retard in a car. So your it's car. not actually your line. No, it's like another no, retard. See, look at it. That's Grant. That's my brother Grant, right there, right yeah, in front of me. He's not that good. Apparently he is. He's not. Apparently he is. He's a he's drive a Get off my dick! See, like, if this was me driving, I would have blocked the shit out of you just to be an asshole. Yeah, but you know what? I'd crash through that shit like a maniac. This isn't my real brain. See, look at That guy just, like, hit a bunch of poles. Because he probably did that in, like, one of his races. So does it only run, like, your friend's line when you're not near them? Uh, I don't even know. I'm not entirely sure how the drive tower works. Uh, I don't know. But they take your sink, they, they like, sink your drive tower, put them in a the car. Then, you know. Like, put them into the game with you? Yeah, then tell them to go have fun. Yeah, they're like, uh, enjoy. Yeah. I thought I thought it was just kind of a thing where they're like, alright, here's the lap time, and they set the AI out, like, the AI out to run that lap time. No, it's not a ghost. It's actual, like, they take all, like, the, uh, they take like, uh, Well, it has to be, like, a real AI to avoid you and stuff and collide with you. But I thought it was like set out, like no matter how much you collide or whatever, to run your friend's lap time. No, no, they it's take not. they take like how you do turns. Like if you do good turns, they like take that and make you do good turns. So it's like, oh, you got a perfect turn. The AI will do a perfect turn on this one. Yeah, I, I, I think that's how it goes. It's something like that. It's, that that kind of makes sense. I can see them doing that. It's based upon how you actually drive. So me, I like to hit people because I'm an asshole. So my guy is probably hitting people in his races. Oh, that dick, see, like that guy. So does that guy, apparently. Apparently, yeah. Apparently that other guy's just really fucking Fuck, good. Actually, really, really far ahead. I really fucking like this car. Do you really? I really, Is it's, that easy to drive? It's really easy to drive. Did you turn off your hard mode? I, hard mode? I'm always hard. Okay, bud. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, but you can't catch that other car that's way up there. I'm gonna catch it in literally two seconds. Okay, you did. <laughs> it's average. I can honestly beat all these AIs or ghosts or whatever the fuck you want to call them, drive tards, within two. This guy's like really bad on me though. Dude, that's because you have it on like 0% difficulty. I'm on average. Fuck off. Your bonus is 0%. No, that's 15. Oh, fucking big shot over fucking here. Fucking big shot. 15. But you know what though? I don't like hard racing games. I can't stand them. I'd rather just put them on a difficulty like this. Cruise around in the car, have fun, you know. You know what's fun? He's beating opponents that are actually opponents. Yeah, these are opponents. They're just, they're just easier. I don't know. I like my driving games a little bit harder. It keeps me in check. No. It keeps me in reality, you know. Me, like, I, I like to think I'm a bit of like a driving like buff. Like, you know, like a race driving buff or simulator buff, whatever. Yeah, for me, I'm not like yeah, like, you're not really big into racing, so I understand. Yeah. But, like, to me, like, I love, like, driving, like, whether it's, like, oval or road courses, like, Silverstone or whatever here, or the other F1, you know, like, Grand Prix tracks. 
Yeah. I love racing them. And I, like, I think it's fun. So, like, I don't mind playing a hard game, you know, like, if I step up the difficulty on, like, F1.12 or whatever. You know, just to keep, like, keep it, like, a real challenge. And when you actually, like, race the harder people or the harder, like, computers, it does actually make you a better race car driver. Virtually. Virtual race car driver. Virtual race car driver. No experience in the actual... <laughs> yeah, real world's a little bit different. <laughs> it's like, don't worry, don't worry, guys. I, I, I have about 50 hours in... in yeah. Uh, in my racing game. Like, I'll drive about, like, 50 kilometers an hour in the snow in my real car, and I'll be, like, on the edge of my seat panicking that yeah. I'm gonna crash my car and die. Well, snow's one thing. Well, fucking yeah. Snow, man. Like, we have so much snow here, down here in fucking it's, it Yeah, it's kind of stupid, but... It's hot. It's extremely hot in summer, and it gets really fucking cold in winter. Make up your mind, world. Make up your mind, Windsor. You suck. Pretty much. But, yeah, like, the conditions are, like, really bad here. Like... I was just like driving here tonight, and it was like really snowy, and I was just like on the edge of my seat, and every time I hit the gas pedal, my car would like drift to one side of the road, and I was like, this is fucking stupid. Yeah, you have a real wheel, real, real, real or front wheel? It's a front wheel drive car. Yeah. So, yeah. So they're kind of bad. It's pretty shit in the snow. Oh my god, it's scary. I usually turn my traction control off, so... I don't even have that option. <laughs> you don't have a traction control button? No. Anyway, Mike. Yeah, I'm bugged out. We did it. Kirby the Love Bug. I'm yeah. so bugged right now. New Forza badge and title. Achievement unlocked. Forza lifestyle. Achievement unlocked. Playing Xbox games. Congratulations for owning an Xbox One. Yay, Kirby. We Herbie. did it. Yay. Yay. We did it, Reddit. All right, I'm going to hand this over to Gage now. All right, I'm going to try a game again. Yeah. We had some of the last one. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if I want to drive Herbie though. Might have to try a different series or something. Yeah, it's up to you. So, I don't know where to go. Continue, 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 I guess. Silverstone Grand Prix. It's actually now Grand Prix. We to Is it? Wow. Yeah, it's Grand Prix, dude. Top gear. On the top gear. Oh, I'm not the Top Gear, gear track. track. Come on. There's like the Hammerhead. I think that's Hammerhead, isn't it? Yeah. One of them's Hammerhead. That's Hammerhead, I think. The hairpin there. Hello. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Top Gear. Wow, that was, that was not a good English accent. That it was not. Like, that, was, that went to, like, Finnish or something. Finnish? Russian, maybe? Hello. Hello. I don't even know what the hell that That's is. That's not Russian. I don't know what the fuck that is. Hello, Dude, this man. is easy. You don't even, it's not even a race. You just hit bowling pins. Hello, governor. Yes, that's what... <laughs> Oh, I hit the button. Okay. So, I'm in Herbie, I guess. Yep. Okay. Herbie the love bug. And all I have to do is hit bowling pins? Yeah. Okay. I can do this. You don't, even have, this to, you don't even have to go fast. It's not timed. Just, you have it's to get, not timed. No, you have to get 200,000 points, though. So just hit. It's all set up, like, so perfectly, though. Hit pins. Oh, I didn't see that part. Hit more pins. Go slower. Seriously, you can go super slow. Going super fast. You can go super slow. Are the gold pins worth more? Mm, hardly anything. Like they are worth more, but not a lot. Wow, you fucking I did suck. It. Oh my god. If I have to replay this because you can't get a gold. I'm gonna replay it. Probably. Probably. I don't know what's going on. You gotta hit pins, dude. Not hard. Pins everywhere. Oh my you missed all those pins! I hit so many of them though. Ugh. Oh. Gold target is only 200,000. What am I at? 124. Am I close to being done? Yeah. You have all this part, and then you have a couple other parts left. But you should be able to do this, like, no problem. It seems pretty easy. Yeah, you, you, you're actually probably gonna get Considering, gold. like, I haven't even really tried. There's still a little bit. <laughs> How do you like bowling in real life, Gabe? Dude, I actually kind of like it. Yeah, I mean, to be I, honest, it's kind of fun. I haven't been bowling in years and years. Oh, there's a turn there. Oh no, I'm not doesn't matter. Dog stand. You're not in time. You're not in time. So it's all good. So you're telling me I could drive as slow as I wanted, and there's yeah. no way I could fail? Yeah. Who d would design a level like that? Someone who forgot that the definition of racing is to get speed, probably. Look get at all those gold pins. Yeah, too bad you failed. You lap. couldn't get gold. You could not get gold. I completed the race, though. Fail. What race? There is no race. What? 
Who designed this? <laughs> I'm so, calling up Jeremy Clarkson and I'm going to send him an angry who, message. Some guy who obviously did not like bowling as a child. Alright, so just to prove a point, I kind of want to drive through this as slow as possible. Mm, not even points. Go do a race. Yeah, yeah, it's actually kind of like too stupid to even try. I did, yeah, Herbie level increased, yeah. It's got, why does it have a California plate? I don't know. He's from California. So, skipping past that, because YOLO. See, YOLO. We now head YOLO. back to Abu Dhabi. Okay. Oh, Abu Dhabi. I know this track. Abu Dhabi. I raced it in my fake virtual F1 cars. Abu, Abu Dhabi. Abu, Abu, Abu in one Dhabi. part, you drive into the hotel. It's awesome. I think you can see it in that picture a bit. That's the hairpin. I don't remember driving underneath the hotel. There, that part. Oh. I yeah, you drive there. under the catwalk of the, yeah, of the hotel. Like, I think you meant like going underground. Hotel. No, you don't go under the ground. It's like a, they made like a passageway up top. Like it's clearly in that photo. Yes. It's pretty cool though. This doesn't look like the Grand Prix track. This is the South Circuit apparently. Abu Abu Dhabi. Abu Abu Dhabi. Abu Abu Dhabi. Our new Abu Dhabi dubstep record. Yes. Try saying that like ten times fast. Abu Dhabi dubstep. 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 Not hard. <laughs> okay, <laughs> prove me wrong. <laughs> wow, this horsepower though. So many torques. If your brother passes me, I'm gonna be so mad. Well, you're in last, so I'm angry now. <laughs> There's four I'm laps. Super angry. Is this the first corner? No, this is the hairpin. I know where I'm at. I'm halfway through the Grand Prix track. Totally didn't get dock points there. No. Wait, do you get dock points? No, you don't get dock points, is what I mean. Okay, good. That guy can go fuck himself. He didn't give me enough room. <laughs> no, I meant the part where you just, like, jump, like, maybe two meters, like, of the grass. Yeah, that's legal. Isn't it? No, it's actually not. No. Okay, I don't know why I'm breaking. I'm doing the reason to. Except for this corner. It's, it's a pretty tight corner. Pretty toy. Then you get, like, a left-hander into another left-hander here. If I'm on the correct circuit, yeah. Princess Rocks 38. Yeah, okay. Like, she's gonna beat me. Like, that's actually a girl. Yeah, okay. Dude pretending to be a girl. To see get... what you're up to. <laughs> to get those many manly Oh, messages. this is new. I'm used to making your right hand turn there. And then it just turns you around and brings you back to the straightaway. You turn me right around. Yeah, because... Yeah, this is the back stretch to, to the Grand Prix track. Oh, yeah? So at least they changed up the courses for this. Yeah, so this is like the South Circuit. It's just like half the actual full course. I guess, with like a little metal part you don't really see, like a connecting part. Because this is back to the hairpin again. Or, or sorry, I shouldn't say hairpin, the chicane. It's like a right, left, right chicane here. Can you see how she went through that? No. Because chicanes are just really fast turns. Turns right after the moment. So I'm gonna take as much of the track as I can here. I call those chicanes turny turns. Yeah, it's the it's the turny turn. It's the technical turn. So you go through this part, you can go through this part flat out, usually. You gotta break for this part though. It's a it's like a 90 degree turn. And then you come into a 90 degree left hand turn. And it's really fun. And then another 90 degree left yeah, it's really fun again. I'm having so much fun. We did it. I can't contain my fun. If your fun levels are too high, please take a shot of like adrenaline or something. Would that make me have more fun? It'd make you have less fun. You'd be able to contain your fun better. Yeah, but I think. No, adrenaline makes you more fun. Alright, so everyone put your adrenaline away. Like, put your EpiPens away. And when uh, I tell you to get really hyped, like, stab yourself with an EpiPen. I suggest if you guys are looking for beer to, uh, to, you know, casually have during the night, don't get Corona. It's Dude, very, very skunky. I don't know why you're hitting on Corona. I don't like it at all. Well, you should give all your Corona to me. I don't have any more. Because I don't have plenty. Like, Corona with a beer. lemon is good, but I'm out of lemon. Or lime. Lime's perfect. Actually, isn't lime better for beer? Yeah, probably. 
Yeah, I think you just drink the wine. Yeah. Oh, you, I hit the brakes like the scrub. Cole's difficulty level is so easy. This game's not even close. No, it's not. It's really not. Like, I'm not even driving close to what I know is, like, good. Well, then change the difficulty. I overdo that a bit. Next. Next. Yeah. I, can, I can definitely up it a bit and then try the next track. We'll just put the uh, driver tires. Level up. Yeah. Where's my 35%? I love my 35% driver tires. Driver tires? Yeah. How can you record your actual friend's performance if your friend's in the race and the drive of tires is based off of your friends? Because you just take how you take the turn. Like the line? Turns, passes, There's yeah, a whole other fucking lap? Jesus Christ, man. They're totally gonna catch you. They're, they got me, though. They're only a kilometer. It's gonna back. be a close one. Turny turns. Take your turny turn. Yeah, I'm clipping all the apexes. So bad. Be disqualified. So bad. so bad that I'm in the lead by a lot. Yeah. <clears throat> See, here's what you do, Cole. You go to the outside of this. You just you keep your foot on the gas. And no one can stop you. And then you stop. So. What and then you get back on the gas. Did you went on? You went kind of off there. And now you're gonna go off again. Oh, you break. It's called brakes. Break they brakes. exist. You should learn how to use. Them. Breaky brakes. Those things, that pedal on the on the left. You think how to use it? So my clutch? No, the other one on the left. No, the he's middle not, left. Not even the real drive. The middle left. The left of the Forza cars. There's, uh, no, there's no clutch in Forza. You can turn it on if you want to. Yeah, no one does that. Well, the, okay. The only person I know that does that is Ian. And like he has a Ian. Yeah, that Ian. He's like, oh, I gotta drive my, my Forza with a clutch on a controller. And I'm like, how are you doing that? You hold RB and press B. I did that too. The only reason he does it is because he literally probably does have autism. <laughs> I can't see why any any casual person or any person that actually wants to enjoy themselves would do that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, it's really like another level of like, Autistic game function is using the clutch on a controller. Like I could see if you have a racing pedal, which is fine. Percent. And like you want to like use your pedals or whatever, and you want the realistic feel and you want the clutch. Go ahead, use pedals. It's fine. But like using the clutch on the controller, that's that's another level of dedication. I couldn't find in my brain cells. Yeah, it's like holding, I think you have to hold the RB, you hit RB to put the clutch down and then press B to up shift and A to down shift. That seems right, because it's uh, RT and LT for gas and brake. No. Yeah. So, that, I'm pretty so sure all your shifting is done, but yeah, that's, that seems like a lot of stuff to do. Yeah, it's confusing. Alright, I'm gonna man the helm here at Laguna Sega, because I actually know this track a lot. I've raced this a lot. Gran Turismo, iRacing, I've, I've done this track in pretty much any game you can think of. Put the, remember to put the driver tires up. Yeah, I'm going to have to put the driver tires up. That was too easy. Way too... Yeah. Expert. 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 We're doing it. Look at that fist logo. Fisting. Fisting logo? Fisting cups. All right, so I need at least third for gold. It's on hard. I don't know if I should mess with your assists. No, just go to. Game. I don't need a braking line. Just go, no, I no, don't no. need ABS. Don't fuck with my custom. Put the custom back on. I don't need your ABS. I'll, no, dude, just go to. Just go later. to. No, go to game difficulty and then just move it. Better. Professional. What are you? Professional? I'm better than that. You're better than professional. Simulation. I don't need TTS. I don't need stability. Shifting automatic, that's fine. That's that's simulation, that's fine. You like damage. So if someone hits you and damages your car, then you're pretty much fucked. Yeah, it's called not hitting people. Alright man. Alright. Watch me. <laughs> I'm drunk, so this is actually a pretty hard difficulty for drunk driving, to be honest. Drunk driving 2014. What up? Don't do it in real life though, don't be an idiot. Yeah, use the force of five drunk driving simulator. Yeah. Take a taxi home. Then to be fair, every other driver on this course is drunk too. By the looks of it. 
Take a taxi home, get to your house, and then put on some Forza 5 and just get your home. That's, that's what I do literally every weekend. Yeah, you play Gran Turismo though? Yeah, Gran Turismo. Yeah, it's usually what I do. I go through that dirt a little bit, it saves me time. Yeah, but your car gets so dirty. Yeah, but we can wash Herbie out later. But wow, Herbie, that guy took that thing to run. Herbie doesn't like the dirt. How's that guy get so much speed? Maybe his car has been better acceleration. Yeah, it seems like we're a little weak against the good drive cars. Maybe that's what they do, they just up the car's power. Probably. They wouldn't do anything detailed, like making their lines faster. That would be too much effort. Well, that would also change the whole... Whoa, what happened? You done spun out, son. No, I didn't. <laughs> this no, never happened. Nothing ever happened. See, look at Everything's perfectly normal. Perfectly good. Except that guy's still in. Except he's still in my way. Wow. This road looks so glossy. Like, it almost looks too real. You know what I'm saying? Like, the road looks too legit. Quit. So it's in the, uh, what do you call it? Surreal. No, it's not surreal. It's, um, it's that point where things start to be too real in a video game where it what just doesn't look right. Dude, they hit me on the straightaway. Who does that? Something valley. Uncanny valley. That's what it is. I've never heard of that term. It's a life. video game term where, if, like, a face or something is so realistic, but you just can't. It just looks weird in one aspect where it doesn't look human. It's so real, it doesn't look real. Yeah, pretty much. I understand. This is a corkscrew. It's a very hard turn. I just go off the one end, and then I ram someone else and, like, pinball my way through. Yeah, somebody died on that corkscrew. I'm still sad. Yeah, I know. It, it's really cool. Did you ever see the uh, documentary of Santa? Yeah, dude. It's oh, okay. Wow. That's a good That's a good. Documentary. Seriously, everyone right now should Google Ayrton Senna documentary. A R Y T O N S E N N A. It's on Netflix. Yeah, really it's on Netflix. You can watch it there. Uh, there's an extended cut you can probably find on YouTube. I'm sure it's it's got to be up somewhere. He seriously was a great dude. Like the fastest driver ever. Drove Formula One cars. Like, it's it's almost impossible to hate him. Like I'm not even religious, and like this guy was super religious, and I still love the fuck out of him because he was just like. A crazy race car driver, dude. Like, there's no way you could ever hate him or anything he did. Like, I, I would suggest go watching his documentary. Yeah, I'm not even a fan of racing, but I did really like that documentary. I, I didn't even know you saw it, dude. Yeah, I watched it the other day, a couple weeks ago. Did you do? Did you cry, dude? No. Did I cry? It was so sad. Dude, you knew he was gonna die. I knew he was gonna die. He was still really fucking sad. Yeah, you know what's weird though? After he did die, he was the last death in Formula One. Yeah, no one has died in Formula One since. Because his friend took in over. In a race or anything. His friend took over the safety issues. Um, yeah, somebody who worked close with him, uh, I forget his name, is like, he, he's been actually knighted as Sir. Oh, really? In, uh, in England. It's like Sir Doctor or whatever. Yeah. You know, you know what's so sad about and that? And he took over the safety in Formula One, and there hasn't been a death since uh, Arts and Senna. Yeah. You know what's so sad about that, though? He wouldn't have died if he's just stayed on that one contract yeah he went he went to Williams for that year yeah because that because and that everyone car, was questioning it yeah because, because that, that car had technical advantages against the other cars but then in the year that he joined they took all that technical advantages out of the car because they thought it was unfair oh well the FIA banned <coughs> it the FIA yeah. the FIA is like the government for the Formula One racing right and so in 1992 the Williams car Run by Sir Frank Williams. That's not 92, it was 70. It was 90s, dude. I, I'm, I know the shit. So, in 1992, the Sir Frank Williams car of Williams Racing had what was called, like, electronically controlled suspension. So, it, the Williams cars in 1992, Prost drove one, Prost being one of Senna's biggest rivals, drove one, it had full, like, full... Uh, electronically controlled, computer controlled suspension. And, like, it was unbeatable. Like, the car stability, every turn you took, the computer took care of everything. And Senna was in, like, just a normal McLaren with none of this fancy technology, and he was struggling to catch up. So, in 1993, 
uh, sent a move to Williams. And Williams ended up being pretty much garbage that year because they banned that technology that made them so fast. Which was the, the active suspension. Where the suspension could balance everything in the car. And so he went to Williams and the car was just not that good. He was struggling. He was behind. Senna couldn't do much. I'm pretty sure Prost was in a different car. I can't remember exactly. He Prost might've... retired. He went to... I don't Williams. know if he was on sabbatical or what, but... Prost retired. He went to... He was a supervisor at, um, at I think, Williams. I think Prost won in 1993. He was retired. No, he won in 1993 and he quit in 94. Right, whatever. The one year where Senna actually died, he was... Uh, Supervisor for, for Williams. Was he? Yeah. It was I one of those years very close. No, because Prost wasn't racing for Williams. Because the contract stated that Prost could not, Pr- Prost Prost could won. not be teammates with, yeah, with that's true. Senna. Prost was with Williams in 92, though, wasn't he? I don't fucking know these years. I think he was saying yeah. that, that when Senna joined Williams, Prost was not with Williams anymore. Well, I know Senna died in 94, right? Yes. And so, yeah, it must have been like 93, Senna won it with Williams. Yeah, that makes sense. Fifth place is okay. But yeah, oh. anyway. Anyway, guys. Watch the Senna documentary. As this you, is as over, you, yeah. As you just listened to Gage ramble on for about a good seven or eight minutes. Watch the documentary. It's so good. If you don't cry, I will send you cookies. I'll send you a box of Oreos. It's impossible not to. <laughs> anyway, guys, this has been Over Limit Gaming. I am again Cole. And I'm Gage. And you know what? Just just to reiterate, like us, subscribe to us, whatever. We also have a Facebook page. We do. You uh, should join it. Facebook slash Over Limit Gaming. So, you know what? Anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Yeah, we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>